Leading deputies on a chase, jumping out of a moving car, assaulting a deputy to some of the accusations against one man. We brought this to you as breaking news at 5 and 6. Now Fox 23's Eddie Randall reporting live after talking with neighbors and learning more about the suspect. Eddie? I'm here at the Coweta Police, to, the Police Department, just another agency that helped in this case. The suspect's name is Joseph Little, and in addition to a list of charges he faces here in Wagner County, I also found child neglect and drug charges out of Muskogee County. We heard the crash, and we look outside, and the officers chasing him through the neighborhood. Jack Brassfield says the pursuit, crash, and takedown is not a normal scene for this quiet neighborhood. But on Tuesday, it was a sight no neighbor could escape. The deputies say they caught this man stealing at Walmart, and when they confronted him, he bailed, leading deputies on a chase through the county into this neighborhood. Officials say he came speeding through this grassy area, then hopped this embankment right here before crashing into this barbed wire fence. You can see the tracks in the grass where his car kept going. Bailed out of the car, actually, while the car was still moving. Car rolled down the street, hit this mailbox. Neighbors say because they were unsure of what was happening, they took every precaution. Instantly, I told my uh, wife and my son, I said, lock the doors. Besides damage to the car he was driving, deputies say he also mangled other people's property. My wife called me and my neighbor called me and said that they knocked my mailbox down, so I just, uh, I was off work, so I came home to check it out. I learned the street was pretty empty, but neighbors say just minutes later, the area would have been flooded with children coming home from school. They're all over the neighborhood, so we're lucky that took place an hour before. We were there as deputies took him to jail. Officials say he faces several charges, including assault on a deputy. Now, I talked to the sheriff. He says he'll have to take care of all of those charges before he's taken back to Muskogee, where he is also wanted. Reporting live this evening in Wagner County, covering news that matters. I'm Eddie Randall, Fox 23 News.